Hi, my name is Abdurrahman from Maple Systems, and I'll be going over the logical operators in this tutorial. First, let's go over to an empty subroutine, hover over the logic tab, and place the and logical operators in the first rung. Let's also place the or and XOR operators. Now that we know where they are and what they look like, let's go over to screen number four and examine how they work. Let's also place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right side of the screen. Before we begin the explanation, notice the add instruction. It requires a register for all its operands. Now observe the screen. The buttons turn on or off individual coils or bits. Now let's explain how the registers in the ladder logic are linked with the coils that we assign to the buttons. When we create a new tag and choose a data register as a type, just like how it is on the screen, we have the option to choose the tag type. If we choose coil or bit address registers as a type, the bit number option becomes available to us. Notice that we can only choose from 0 to 15. That's because we are allowed to choose a particular data register with, a two, bi with two bytes allocated to it or a total of 16 bits. So what we're doing here is very simple. The AND logical operators allows us to choose three registers for three different operands. Operand A and Operand B are both input registers. Operand C is the output register. If both Operand A and Operand B are turned on, the AND logical instruction turns on Operand C otherwise operand C is turned off. But when comparing the registers, the logic instruction does not compare the value in the register as a whole. Rather, it compares the individual bits. As you can see from screen number 4, each button is assigned a particular register, and within the register a particular bit. For the and logical operator, operand A's first bit is assigned with this button. Operand B's first bit is assigned with this button. Operand C's first bit is assigned with this button. When Operand A and B's first bit turns on with the push of a button, the AND ladder logic instruction turns on Operand C's first bit. The same is true for the OR and XOR operators. Here is a truth table for all three logical operators. Let's review the screen on the HMC. As you can see, the first bit in all the registers is turned off. For the AND operator, operand C will turn on when op A and B is turned on. Let's turn them on and see the results. Now, let's examine the OR operator. The OR operator will turn on operand C when op A or B or both are turned on. And finally, the XOR operator. The XOR operator will turn on operand C when operand A or operand B is turned on. But it will turn off when both operand A and B is turned on.